Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're going to be talking about Miller Brothers Blades. So these are very cool uh, knives, tomahawks, katanas, all kinds of cool uh, cutting tools. And I first saw these guys at Blade Show 2016, I believe it was, and uh, I saw a video of them hammering, basically batoning through steel with one of their knives. And I was like, okay, I'm intrigued. So I contacted them, we talked a little bit, and uh, they sent a bunch of knives for me to test out and to show you footage of. So this video is gonna kind of be an overview of a bunch of different options they have. Now their stuff is custom made. Um, it's, you know, you send in your order, you say what type of steel you want, and I'll give you some of the specs on the steel things they offer. Um, but you order your steel type, you've got different options for your sheath, different setups. I mean, it's just what you want, and it's gonna take a little time, but you're gonna get a blade I think that you're very impressed with. Uh, these knives are medieval looking is how I would describe them. They're just kind of old school, but just super sturdy. And um, yeah, they're just, they really intrigued me when I first saw the, uh, the video and their booth at, at uh, Blade Show 2016. So that's why I'm checking them out now. What I'll do is I'll talk through the different knives here in my office and give you some you know, shots of them on my desk and talk through the details, but I'll also be rolling in footage of me out in the woods using these things so you can actually see what they look like in use. This first one is the M8 Compact. So they have the M8, the M8 Compact, and then they also have the M8 Subcompact as well. So just give you a couple different angles here to see what it looks like. I mean, big, hefty blade. You can get this in Z-Wear PM. You can get, also get this in CPM 3V. Um, your thickness is gonna be about a quarter of an inch. You got that big choil down on the end to uh, lock your hand in. And this, for me, with large size hands, as soon as I pick this up, I'm like, this is a knife I could use for a long time. It just feels very, very comfortable in hand. Um, textured very nicely on the handles. Again, all this is custom done. There's some jimping on the handle there, on the, uh, and then up on the spine as well. But it's kind of, uh, it's smoothed out, it's kind of rolled out, so it's not, um, it's just not aggressive. But man, I, I hold this in my hand, I'm like, that thing just locks in and it's ready to be used. 10 inches from end to end, a little bit a little bit less than a cut, a five inch cutting length or cutting area from your blade, but about five inches if you actually look from the choil up to the tip. And this is one of those knives that uh, even though it's not, you know, seven, eight inches, uh, you're not gonna use this for, as a chopper, this would definitely qualify as a survival knife for me. You know, some knives you just pick up, you hold it and you're like, that is a strong blade. It's just nicely made and it's sturdy, it's stout. And this is uh, this is one of those knives. Your handle is G10, uh, and then here is a look at the sheath. So you got Kydex, you got this leather folded over top of it. Now I will tell you that the leather, especially um, with all the straps and systems that they have, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to add to the weight of your whole system. But you know, you're not going for a super lightweight knife. I think if you get one of these, they do have some smaller knives out there. Nothing I have is small um, from them. Um, this one is probably the, I think it is the smallest of all the knives, but. Again, you can just see that kind of medieval look, and you can see their logos, the Miller Brothers logos there. Here's a look at the back. And you can, again, build the system as you want at Kydex. You can mount fire starters and things on the, on the uh, sheath. Um, you know, just a lot of different ways to set it up. Actually, one of the knives we're gonna look at in a minute actually does have a, um, an Exotac mounted on it, so it's a knife, a smaller knife, and then an Exotac, I think, all, all mounted together. But that's the M8 Compact. And uh, yeah, just super, super cool. Next up here, we're looking at the M29. So your steel options, uh, you can do the Z-Wear PM or the CPM 3V. Your thickness, a quarter inch. You can actually do it in 5 sixteenths as well. Uh, your blade length, six and a half. Your overall length, 11 and three quarters. And um, the handle again is G10. So you can see this is a little bit of a different look than that M8 Compact. Let me put the two side by side here so you can actually see how they compare size-wise and also style-wise. All right, so here's the M29 and the M8 Compact. Uh, you can see the size comparison. So your M29 is definitely bigger. Um, it does feel a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit lighter maybe, um, and the handle feels a little bit thinner. It just feels a little bit less chunky. So the, um, the M8 Compact I find very maneuverable, but I do even find the M29 even more maneuverable and just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's got some, some length there that the M... 9 or I'm sorry M8 doesn't have and uh, yeah just a different style you got kind of that swedge up at the, uh, the top bit. and this one is definitely you got you know a bunch of divots for your fingers to rest in this one's just kind of, kind of a, a contour like that both, they both have the exposed pommel this one's definitely got more steel showing than the uh, than the M8 here's a close-up real quick of the M29 you can see Miller Brothers blades there Z-Wear 
cool texturing on the handles and then come back the other way. So that's what that looks like. And obviously they put a lanyard on here. Let me show you the sheath system now that comes with the uh, M29, at least the one that I'm checking out here. Here's the M29 sheath system for the one that I have here. Uh, the M29, you have your smaller blade and then you have an Exotac, Kydex, Kydex, you've got leather. Flip this over to the back side, you can see leather all around. Uh, this actually does come with a um, like a bandolier setup as well. So, you know, there's a million different ways you could carry these. You could certainly just run that through a belt loop, but also you can see because you have these two D-rings there, you have one down here on the bottom, you can carry this around, you know, a kind of bandolier style. Here's a look at the smaller blade. And actually, I don't have any information on this one. Um, so if you want information on it, just email them and I'll put all their contact information down in the description section. But this is a nice little, you know, I think of like if you wanted a bigger survival knife or, you know, a knife you could use for chopping, all kinds of things like that. And then a smaller knife, kind of like Essie Azula size. This is a little bit bigger, um, but definitely a compact little blade in that piggy, piggyback style uh, set up for your sheath. Next up here we have the M28, again Z-Wear PM or CPM 3V, uh, quarter inch thick, also you can do it in 5 sixteenths. Your blade length 11 and a half inches, your overall length 17 and a half inches. G10 again for the handles, this is just a big, big chopper. This thing is just large, large, large. So you know if you want a tiny little knife, obviously this is not going to be the one for you. Let me roll in the, uh, the M28 Compact. To show you what this looks like just comparing the two here's a quick look comparing the m8 compact down on the bottom and then the m28 up on the top so obviously a huge difference similar type of similar style i would say overall uh just larger blade larger handle thicker blade um for the m28 obviously i was originally going to say this is like big brother and little brother but it's more like you know grandpa and grandson there's just a significant difference between these two let me show you the sheath system for the m28 now so this is your sheath system this thing is just intense so you've got your kydex you've got a fire steel in here an exotech you have a sharpener in here and then down here if you unsnap this there's a little surefire um flashlight in there so just large 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 lots of leather lots of attachment points and then you can see here there's your kind of bandolier sling system um yeah they just put a lot of time and effort into the whole process and so not just the knife but the whole sheath system as well again this is probably not something you're going to be throwing on your hip uh, and carrying around for day hikes in the woods, but this is a large, hefty knife. I mean, batoning, any aggressive work, no problem whatsoever. You're definitely going to be able to chop, baton, I mean, do some serious, serious work with that. So, as you can see, once again, you got your chopper or your knife, and then you can have additional systems built into your kydex, and they just, you know, you got to contact them and say, here's what I'm looking for, and then they can build it based on the specs that you want. All right, last up here, we have the M34. So your blade length is 14 inches, your overall length 24 inches. And um, you're looking at your steels again, once again, it's uh, Z-Wear PM and then CPM 3V. This is definitely gonna be a chopper. It's hefty, you can see just looking at the blade, it's been used. This is one of their test models they send out for review and such. And uh, just just a fun blade, fun, just a fun, fun blade. Uh, big sheath system, Kydex with leather. You get a bandolier option uh, that you can uh, request as well. And uh, yeah, just cool. Like you could probably even hear my voice. I'm kind of like smiling as I look at it. It's just such a unique style to have something, you know, carrying around in the woods. So there you have it. An introduction and an overview to some of the knives and other cutting tools from Miller Brothers Blades. And um, what I want to hear from you in the comments is this. What do you think about custom knives? Are you really into them? Are you not into them at all? Are you, you know, you're fine with your uh, standard production knife? You're like, no, I just wish I had more money so I could invest in some custom blades. Um, I personally am not a knife collector. Uh, I'm a knife user. And so um, that, that kind of plays into my thinking about knives that I actually want to get and review or purchase, whatever the case might be. So let's hear from you. Are you, you, are you pro custom knives and tell us why? Are you kind of like, yeah, they're fine, but I'm, I'd rather just get something that's off the production line. And let's, uh, let's hear your thoughts on that. You can start in the comment section down below and we'll get the uh, discussion going. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please click that little red subscribe button and subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.